I saw the movie before uh, from your visit. Uh, Iyad, uh, he told me, wow, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? And uh, uh, you were like some of the photos in the video, it was inside of Jerusalem and the way from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem from yes. the airport. And I explained to Iyad that this is, ah, this is the new bridge in Jerusalem. This is the new train in Jerusalem. Things that Iyad never saw from ever in his life. And maybe, I hope one day uh, it will happen. Can I ask you another question, Iyad? Okay, uh, you told us your brother has 15 years in jail. He's still in jail? He spent nine years and uh, six years left. The six years left. In those nine years, how many times did you were you able to visit him? One time. Why is that? Uh, it's not it's not allowed by the Israelis because the jails of the Palestinians it's inside of Israel. So, so actually when your family members are in prison, you cannot hardly visit. Uh, the, these jails, uh, Israeli prisons, in, it's inside of the, of the, of the Israelis, it's on the Israeli side. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother is in, uh, in uh, the Negev, south of Israel prison, in the desert. And in order to get there, you need to pass the borders and the separation wall. And it's all controlled by Israelis. So if I want to visit my brother or my family wants to visit, you need to get a, a special permit from the Israelis and from the Red Cross or, uh, organization. Later on, there will be there will be possibilities of asking questions because I can see people being being puzzled and wanting to ask. But before we do that, I, I would like to hear also Yanni's story because there's always there's two stories. There's the Palestinian story. There is the Israeli story. Story. And what I learned in Combatants for Peace is that you have to keep the balance. <coughs> Uh, very important inside of the movement, the balance. I will try to... Oh, you will do it with that. Okay. Um, so, I'm an Ivan, 39 years old. Uh, I'm Israeli. I was raised and grew up in uh, Ofakim, which is a development town in the south, in the desert, in the south of Israel. The town was established... This, such towns were established, were established uh, during the 50s and 60s to absorb the immigrants mostly from uh, Arab countries. My parents immigrated from Tunisia. Most of the... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we can exchange recipes. <laughs> so my parents immigrated from, from Tunisia, and most of my neighbors in my town are from Morocco, Algeria, uh, Iraq, Iran, Jews, of course. Uh, uh, when, when they immigrated, one of the, my father immigrated when he was 19 years old. Uh, he knew only few Hebrew from the prayer back in Tunisia, but he spoke Arabic and, and French. So one of his first jobs uh, was, uh, after his army service, was to serve in the occupation of Gaza. He served as a, as in the civil administration uh, officer in the, because he spoke Arabic, both Arabic and Hebrew. Uh, first as a translator, 
and later on as uh, the one that is responsible for the working permission of, Ga of the people of Gaza to work in Israel. One of my memory of my childhood uh, that one time, one day he came back from Gaza, they live really close to Gaza. In Israeli territory, but very close to Gaza, like uh, 30 minutes uh, drive, uh, even less. Uh, uh, he came back with, all, with the car uh, smashed with, uh, with stones. And I asked him what happened, and then over, over my childhood, many Palestinians from Gaza came to my house in Israel, and it was allowed. And I understood from my father that these are people that work with him, they are collaborated with the Israeli, uh, he didn't call it occupations, of course, with the, with the Israeli. Their people not always like them, but I have to understand that it's a zero-sum game. Maybe they are like a friends, but it's either us or them. And until these days, my father is a right-wing, extreme, uh, not extreme, but right-wing, uh, uh, an uh, outline Zionist. So he came back from his work, uh, his car was smashed, and ever since the security service in Israel uh, gave him a plate for the car, a Gazian plate, a different plate in, in the occupied territory, a different plate in Israel. And me and my, as a child, very small child, every morning I replaced his plate in the car to put like Gaza, and when he came back from work, Israeli plate. Um, other memories from the, the childhood, I will skip up my childhood, uh, when I was 12 years old, I decided, uh, I asked my, my parents to go to study in boarding school in Jerusalem. Uh, the reason I did it is because in the, this development town in the desert for the North African Jews, the situation is really bad, in unemployment, the education system is really bad, and if you want to have a good chances uh, to, be a, a, to, to get education later on, you should go to a boarding school. I went to Jerusalem, it was uh, 1987, the first intifada, I remember the fear in the street, the fear and the hatred. I love a soccer team that is really fascist, Jerusalem soccer team. People in the crowd yell, dead to the Arab, dead to the Arab. For me, I remember, I was right wing, but it was very difficult to yell it because I knew all this Arab from my father's uh, uh, work. I also remember the drives in the buses of Jerusalem. When you are scared to be, uh, that the bus will explode. And we had one day in the boarding school to go out to travel in Jerusalem, and we all were scared. Uh, I remember that everyone looked to look for Arab faces, if some Arab go to the bus. And then I realized that people also look at me, because I also look like, like Arab. So at the beginning, like, you were the suspected, uh, uh, suspected person to go to the bus, and then you sit and look for other Arab look person. So it was kind of a... a I think that this complexity, I didn't realize, I didn't understood it, but it uh, trickled down to my uh, uh, consciousness. Um, in one of my vacations, summer vacation, I went back to my parents. In the summer we spent with, with the parents, uh, to Ofakim, and my father organized me to work in construction building in, the, in this development time, to build many big buildings for the new immigrants from Russia, <coughs> Jewish immigrants that uh, came from Russia. And in my team, we were uh, nine people from Gaza, Palestinian, with working permits, and myself. It was very uh, important and meaningful uh, experience for me. It was first time to ver close, very close with Palestinians that are not collaborators with the regime, with the occupation, but just work there. Uh, one of my friends there, his name was Harem, <coughs> war in Arabic, and he explained me that he was born in 1967, a war, I knew that it's a six-day war, the victory of Israel occupying all this territory, and for him it was a disaster, the Naksa, for the Palestinian, and it was a, a also, I still was a right-wing, uh, in my opinion, but I, I, I realized that there are other people that suffer and experience our history differently. Then I joined the Israeli army, I served in tanks, uh, I was combatant, I was a, a commander, in my reserve duty, after the three years, we also do reserves of one month every year. I served in the occupied territory. It was, I had uh, not easy experiences to be the occupier, to be a soldier, to oppress Palestinian, to be in checkpoint. Still, I saw that as an Israeli that uh, considered myself humanist, I will treat the Palestinian differently. But you cannot, you cannot do that. This is what I realized. You can, you can try to, uh, uh, to prevent other people from... Uh, 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 from doing uh, really bad things, 
but yeah. the very fact that you are occupier in the West Bank it was not possible for me, but I didn't refuse to go to the uh, to the to, to this reserve. It was a I consider it as something <coughs> really extreme. Later on, I went to do my uh, graduate studies in the United States, and I studied Christian Zionists, evangelical Protestants that loved Israel. You have many of them in the in the Netherlands as well. They view the establishment of Israel as the uh, as the prophecies of the Bible and the sign that Jesus is going to come back. That's the reason the support the Israeli state. At the beginning, I loved them. I studied them, but let, they support the, the, it was the time of the Hezbollah and Israel war, between Hezbollah in Lebanon and Israel in the north, and they supported Israel where all the world were criticized. But later on, when I did my research, I realized that my Zionism, my love to Israel, is very different from them. For, for, for their view, and I start asking myself questions about my political views, about my religion, my religious identity. When I came back to Israel, my first research was about was in Palestinian village, Bilain, very famous one. Uh, it was about the involvement of international tourists in the local struggle. The only one in this setting in Bilain, the international tourists the Israeli anarchists and the locals, I felt connected and welcomed me, only the Palestinian villager. The anarchists didn't accept me, I don't know, for many reasons, but this is not the place to elaborate. The, the international tourists also were very suspicious, but the local people in Berlin welcomed me. And then when I came back to Tel Aviv, I looked for group. I, I, I realized that I cannot live anymore in the Israeli society, as an Israeli, without doing something to end the occupation. And I wanted to fight for the liberation of the Palestinians, in which I will feel comfortable. And I found Combatant for Peace, it's the only group of, binational group that work together to end the, to end the occupation in non-violent way, this is one, you know, our first principle, uh, and do it binationally. Um, and I, like Yad, I think that what we are doing is not important only for today to end the occupation, but also for our, our children, our Palestinian children and Israeli children, that in the future, inshallah, there will be a peace. They will, they will be able to, to look at the past and to understand that some people in the past work together non-violently to end the situation. Um, and that's all. Thank you.